you guys doing? Blue. Yeah, some pictures of you guys. Yes. Him good boy. Him good boy, yes. Him good boy. Him good boy. Him good girl. Any girl. Any girl. Him good boy. Oh. Him good babies. Him good babies. Good babies. I never knew that. Doga. I was on the verge of getting it, but I didn't. When she was around two years old, that's when um, when she went down through it. her chemo and all that, uh, she just stopped. She went right into medical. Oh, yeah. Debbie went through everything. The hot flash. She Abby. Maybe it could have been different. Bipolar. And I don't, uh, at that time, I wasn't taking They didn't diagnose me. Here comes Blue. I did, um, until I was really out of here. One of my very best friends in my motorcycle club, he was bipolar. And he, he was taking pills for years. And he was pretty good. He had sessions, but, and then he said, well, I'm, I'm cured. I don't need it. And, uh, he let him for about six months to see the suicide. I have bipolar depression. Mickey. I swear he's bipolar. Who's that? Mickey. Really? His mood Doga. Is just so quick. Oh, he's definitely. He would come in, be happy, and go up a minute or two later. He's bitching about something. He's going on. Well, if that's right, my wife tells me I'm the same way that thing. Yes, sir. He got all of that bitching. <laughs> <laughs> I am nervous. Like yesterday, he was happy. Oh. I can't remember what it was. He said all the time. Well, how I know is the same. Hi, babies. But yeah, how I know he is dying is some mornings, like whenever I'm waiting on the school bus and stuff like that, he'll be like, hey, Wonder, hey. And then some mornings he'll there go by. Yeah. Not even moving his face. He's new changing. Yeah. Are he's hot, hot and he's mad that I won't let him go after cats. Come on, Blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I need a tip. Huh? You need a two? I asked Carol if there was one here and she said, I'm not putting one, a new one out there because oh, somebody would tear it up. She works for Pat? What? Who? Oh, Carol. Hey. His ex wife, they remarried or something? Well, he calls his wife, right? Is he talking about the man who went to prison? No, I'm not. Um, Carol and. Kayla, Kayla, and Kayla and Brandon work with Carol. Carol works with Pat, our landlord, right? Yeah. She works Pat. for the husband that molested her kid. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Her ex-husband. This lady here. Oh. Works for her. 
Worse for him. My point is, is I thought he was in prison. I thought her husband was in prison. Yeah. I didn't know that. So you're not talking about him? No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. They, were, they work for him is what you're saying, right? No, they don't work. They work for They don't their own business. Yeah. But I didn't know. I didn't okay, know. One more time. Carol worked. Carol worked for him, but she just worked for I, and it's funny, I asked her about that several times, and finally she told me, I mean several times, she told me that she wasn't going to put a lawnmower out here because somebody would just tear it up. Well, she, she a that was my friend. That was her friend. Yeah. And, uh, it would prison, actually. The trailer in the lawnmower just yeah, they they took all. He he went somewhere and he doesn't know what happened. To any of his things, they took all his stuff. Yeah, he like almost spoke somebody, so beat him half to death.